Okay, we're going to talk about upscaling. Now, a lot of people are, are fond of upscaling their video, their video games, and whatever. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm in favor of a small amount of upscaling. The problem is people want to upscale huge amounts of things. I learned that with LaserDisc. You can only go so far with an upscale. That's analog technology. That, that's completely different, but I'm just saying. A lot of people on Blu-ray players expect too much in upscaling and with DVDs and all that. I got some news for you. You got to give it up. Why don't people want the original look of a, a disc or whatever you're looking at? Why do they have to have it completely upscaled all the time? I just, I don't understand that at all. Like, Don't you want to watch the original quality of what you, what you bought? Instead, you want it to go through an upscaler. Now, I can understand DVD. It may be, a, yeah, I can understand a DVD, but or a Blu-ray, but I just don't understand. I just don't understand it when it comes to electronics and stuff. If you are upscaling something like a Nintendo 64, it doesn't really look quite like you did when it's a kid anymore, because you messed around with the picture. Everything might look a little sharper. I don't understand it. You also got to buy the right kind of upscaler. Uh, if you want to upscale things, you have to buy the right one. They're usually um, a lot of money, some of them. I got one for 65 bucks. It doesn't do shit. All it does is act like a converter. You can buy a $20, $25 converter at Walmart. So I don't know what the hell I, I was thinking. It does somewhat with the picture, but it's not enough to justify it. I want a laser disc to work on, work on a regular TV and that's just not going to happen. Um, so what else is, what's else, what else is important on um, upscaling besides DVDs, um, video gaming consoles? Um, there's anything you can upscale, old camcorders that you connect to a TV, a VCR, a VCR is important to look at. Well, my, it does somewhat of a job, my upscale that I have on a VCR, but not quite what I want it to be. And I gotta tell you people something, um, don't expect much from a VCR. Even if you do manage to upscale the quality, half your tapes are just gonna skip, skip, the screen's gonna flicker, or they won't work altogether. VCRs will have, have mechanical parts, and they don't function for very long. Some people think they last forever. That's simply not the truth. VCRs don't last forever at all. You have to clean the heads inside. You have to um, do so many different things to them to keep them working. It's not even worth maintaining them, to tell you the truth. Um, a lot of people back then that were big with stuff and had a good amount of money, I didn't understand why they bought, um, why they kept trying to fix their VCRs. Just throw them away or go buy another one. It's not worth spending money on any repairs or anything. Now, um, um, for regular people, it was because you could um, go either go get it fixed at a repair shop or you could do it yourself. But for somebody that has a lot of money, I, I couldn't understand why they just kept the VCR and kept trying to fix it. But don't try upscaling that either. There's really nothing looks good when it's upscaled. So I was talking about AKTV in my other videos. And I got to tell you that um, it ups, um, they upscale content and stuff. Um, what, besides the HDR, I just don't see how you could, you couldn't, what could you do to the rest of the picture? The resolution is so high now that we can't really tell the difference. What could you do? A lot of people are saying there's a huge difference. Yes, in 4K to Blu-ray, it's not about resolution. It's about HDR, color grading and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of people think when they buy 4K, the resolution is going to look like 20 times better. That's not how it works. And I hope people understand that. So um, go ahead and upscale your devices in the future. And who knows, maybe you'll get lucky and things will look better. But I can tell you, for the most part, it's not going to look better. It's going to look, it might actually look worse in some circumstances. When I did LaserDisc, it looked worse. But, um, or close to worse. Just saying. And you have to spend a lot of money. If you're dealing with old technology, it's a lot more intensive and you have to le learn a lot more about it. You're going to learn a hell of a lot more. Um, but if it's stuff nowadays, they say, oh, your DVD, your, your let's say, Blu-ray or 4K player automatically 
upscale stuff that people I know are not satisfied with. Forgive me for all these stutters. Lack of sleep. Um, all I'm going to say is, is that that's how it is. If you want to upscale something, it's best to just do it if it's automatically with a television or a Blu-ray player. If you go buy an upscale for anything, it's, it's a waste. All right. Bye-bye.